Students from kindergarten to sixth grade at Arn Elementary School attended the Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics Symposium, or STEM, to gain knowledge and possibly increase their interest in the respective fields. What we had today were our military partners from the Zama community who came out and presented um, this morning sessions for our students to sort of see how STEM works in the Army. And we teach those subjects, but this is a chance for the students to actually see it in practice. The event kicked off with a musical performance from the U.S. Army Japan Band. The students experience informative, collaborative, and fun ways to integrate STEM, with U.S. Army Japan and other community partners presenting 16 real-world sessions that included everything from getting an up-close look at a Black Hawk helicopter with members of the U.S. Army Aviation Battalion Japan to a demonstration of Humvee-mounted ground satellite terminals by the 78th Signal Battalion. The students even got to learn about how bacteria grows and how viruses spread. It was pretty cool, especially um, the uh, engineering, how you have to build a tower tallest tower without making it fall over and uh, I liked it because it sort of leads to what I might want to be when I grow up as an engineer because I like building things with Legos because when I was younger I started building things with Legos. I'll be an architect. Um, I think it's uh, the best to be able to meet the people who have first-hand knowledge and that's what they do for life then it's absolute the information that you're getting teacher. I'd want to be a teacher because I love working with kids and sharing knowledge. More than eight different units and nearly 100 volunteers, including both soldiers and civilians, supported this year's event. Lieutenant Colonel Michael Temko, commander of the 78th Signal Battalion, which has been a partner with ARN for more than 20 years, highlighted the importance of supporting school activities. It's just such a great opportunity to have, you know, all the soldiers and a lot of the soldiers have, have children in the school to be able to have that interaction and support the school and make the school better by allowing them to do activities like they did today and have the volunteer support from the battalion to help support them so they're able to conduct these activities. Over the years, numerous partners from on and off the installation, such as the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, or JAXA, health and wellness experts, and even emotional support animals have come to ARN in support of the students in order to increase their interest in STEM. They just need to understand that a lot of what they think is fun, those science and math have components too. And definitely engineering and technology, you know, for our kids, they um, like to think of themselves as the next future YouTube star. And what I've challenged kids to say is, who's going to be the next person to create a platform that's as widely used as YouTube? So if you can take your math knowledge and your technology and you can merge those together, that's what we need. We need people who are going to create the next um, Instagram or the next YouTube. Reporting for U.S. Army Garrison Japan, this is Dustin Perry.